Hello friends, it's Techman Pat. Today we're going to take a look at GOG Galaxy 2.0. I just got the invite to install this and actually have a look. This is supposed to connect all your games, your Steam, your well, GOG, your Origin into one really nice launcher. And this is this is it. Let's have a look. I just downloaded it. I just got the invite like literally five minutes ago. Um, and I wanted to share with you guys what it is and let's have a bit of a browse. So it's a little bit different than my normal videos, more techy, more gamey, but this is a very big step uh, in the future of games. I think this is gonna be huge if it actually works really, really well. G-O-G, -G, easy as one, two, three, Galaxy. That was pretty quick. Configuring, launch. All right, let's do it. Let's launch it. Is it launching? This is the icon. This is the install file. I can get rid of that now. Actually, I'll use it on my other laptop. Launching GOG. Okay, closed better. July 10th. So it's been out for a while. Uh, no issues. Friends recommendation on manage. All games view. Bookmarks. Edit tutorial. Library. Closed better June 24th. So this is 2.02. .02. So there's only been two. Three releases, technical alpha June 18th. Okay, that was the first one. Okay, one, two, three, four. Fourth release. Okay, fourth release. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's stretch that out a little bit. Okay, so we've got add games, organize and launch all your games, track all your progress, your data belongs to you and it will be never shared with anyone. That's great. Um, so what do we have? What are we looking at? Okay, so this is Kingdoms and, and Castles. That's all GOG games. It's recently played. These are recently played by others. Others oh, is not me or me? I haven't, I don't, have I played? I haven't played Super Mario Maker. Or Pokemon Go. Underlords? No, okay, this is played by others. Okay. Let's add all games, 13 games. So that's, okay, GOG. This is all GOG. So, got two installed games. Uh, Friends Online Zero and Featured Store. So this is the GOG store where we can obviously pre-order the one and only Cyberpunk, um, which is still 19 Australian dollars. Okay, so all games, let's see what we can do. Let's add a game. Connect a platform, redeem G, okay, connect platform. Xbox Live, Epic, let's start with, let's start with Origin. It's got to download something. Installing update starting. Uh, we can't do friends list. We can't do chat. Okay. Connect. Now I've got to log into uh, my EA account. So give me a moment. Oh, okay. Let's see what happens. Origin. Importing origin. 42%. 44, it's just down here. All games, windows, filters. Oh, there's, oh, oh. There it is. It's imported all the games. I don't know if they're installed, so not. I don't think any of these are really installed. I know Battlefield 5 is installed, so if I look for Battlefield 5. Where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? There it is. That's a trial version, okay. Click on that. Can I press play? What happens if I press play? Please wait, launching Origin. <gasps> then it's connecting to Origin. This is what we need for Netflix, Stan, and a bunch of other things. This is pretty incredible. So is it gonna launch the game? Let's have a quick look. Um, obviously, well, first of all, Battlefield 5 launches so slowly. Um, but there it is, my friends. It's just launched in the background there. Okay, so it still opens in the background. So you still have to have it installed, obviously. Um, but this is just putting everything in one place. And I'm, I don't have to navigate to every single one of those launchers to launch that game or this game. I can just probably go, um, let's say I want to always play The Witcher. Manage tags. Okay, let's just go. Can I? Okay, can I put that somewhere? Favorites, maybe. Recent activity. Organize and launch your games from one master collection. Can I make a favorite? Tags. Add tag. 
product media. Hmm. Can I make it? Okay, well here's, oh, okay, so this is recently added and I can just play it from there. Is there a favorites? Games, redeem, recently played. Okay, I guess I guess at the end of the day it'll just pop up here. So there's my battlefield, there's my Witcher that I played, so I can just tap into that and press play, which is pretty good. All games, that's all the lists. <laughs> this is gonna look great when you connect Steam. Um, but that's pretty exciting, guys. Thank you very much for joining me. If this is the first time you've had a look at the new browser or launcher for um, GOG 2.0, this is absolutely fantastic. A really good way to make yourself unique plus provide users with a store. So GOG is obviously gonna be selling their games on their store, and we're gonna have the ability to play other stores. And it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be an interesting time. Friends, thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you guys in another video. Bye.